looking at the world for just one day Watch this madness, colorful charade No one can be just like me anyway Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul for y'all. So it had been a couple of weeks since I went into my local Dollar Tree because I've been on several trips and we just haven't been home a whole lot. If you hear noise, Lily is sniffing around all of my Dollar Tree bags. But I ran in just to get two things that I needed. And of course, I noticed lots of new fun stuff at my store. So here we are. First, I found this really cute placemat. I have seen some stuff with the Our Nest is Best saying, and I love the greenery on this, but this was my first time seeing this placemat. And I got it to put under Lily's um, food and water bowl. I just thought that would look really nice and I've been wanting to get her one just to place under her bowls. I got two packs of these paper cutouts. They have these in like, not the party section, but like the seasonal section has a bunch of like stuff for luau's right now, like little margarita glasses, grass skirts, that type of decor. And this is eight pieces and it's just little cardboard cutouts. This would be great decor for like a birthday party or if you are a teacher, um, maybe you teach Sunday school, Bible school, just anything uh, preschool, anything like that with kids. These would be really cute to decorate like a bulletin board or maybe for a birthday party. But this one just has several different mason jars and lemon, watermelon, strawberry, just some different cute little fruits. And then this one is super cute for a party in my opinion. They also have like the plates and stuff with this same kind of theme. If you're having like a party this summer, I know I grabbed a couple of things from this section last summer to decorate my outdoor bar area with, but this one says tropic like it's hot. And then they have the toucan, the flowers, pineapples, and tropical leaves. So those are cute. I'm going to do a little DIY for y'all with these, but they each have eight pieces. And I think they had another one that I didn't grab, but I just grabbed my favorites to do a DIY for y'all. I have seen so many people haul these and talk about how much they love these little handy lighters. And this was my first time finding one at my store. It was actually up near the checkout line. They had a white one and a red one. It's so much easier to light a candle with it. It has the long nozzle. I know just the little handheld lighters can make it tough to light candles with when your candles kind of burn down really low. And I'm super excited that I found this and I finally get to try this out. Ethan absolutely loves this strawberry lemonade. They have been out of it at my store the last two times that I went into Dollar Tree. And Ethan has really been missing this. It is great. They also have a blueberry lemonade that he likes as well, but strawberry is his favorite. So I grabbed two of these. I found the cookies and cream Dippin' Dot cereal. Ethan loves cereal and I love to find name brand cereal at Dollar Tree. I shared with y'all a couple of hauls ago that I found the banana split Dippin' Dot cereal and it was good, but I think Ethan would really love the cookies and cream, so I picked this up for him. I found these little Krispies oven baked rice crisps. I love the little Quaker rice cakes and these look just like them. So I'm hoping that's what they taste like, but I've never seen these at my store and I was super excited to come across them. 
Ethan loves these little peanut butter and chocolate chip chewy granola bars. They taste just like the Quaker version in my opinion, but I usually always pick these up when I'm at Dollar Tree. Ethan loves these little peanut butter filled pretzels. So I got these for him to like take to work with him. So my Dollar Tree has only had DVDs once and it was like back, it was before Valentine's Day. If y'all watched my Dollar Tree gift basket DIY for Valentine's Day, you saw where I put like a DVD and some popcorn to make like a little gift for someone who loves movies or for a couple who wants to have a movie night. But I just love to put together gift baskets and kind of make birthday gifts, shower gifts, um, housewarming gifts, things like that. Instead of just buying something, I feel like it is much more personal. So I try to keep things around the house to use last minute Whenever I see a good basket at Dollar Tree, I will buy it. If I see like a, some cute tissue paper or a cute little candle or something, I will pick it up and keep it with my craft supplies so that I can put together a cute basket last minute. But I finally found some more movies and I picked up two of them. One is Blu-ray and one is just a DVD, I think but I actually got these because one of them really interests me and I thought the other one would really interest Ethan because it is about baseball. But when you walk into my local Dollar Tree right now, they kind of have a whole display like movie themed and they had several DVDs and the little popcorn buckets like I showed you in my Valentine's Day video. Um, cute little bags of popcorn and stuff. When you see the little popcorn buckets or the um, DVDs at your store, if you see like a good kind of newer DVD, even if you already have it or it's a movie that you've seen, go ahead and buy it and put it up for a birthday gift or a Valentine's Day gift, just something like that. So I love to watch everything about the royal family and this DVD is called William and Kate, A Royal Life and it says that it includes bonus footage. Honestly, I've probably already watched this like on Lifetime or something, but I just saw it and I love to keep up with the royal family, so I had to get this for a dollar. This movie I have never seen, but it was Blu-ray and I can easily tell that it is about baseball. So I picked that up for Ethan and I to watch on our next movie night. I picked up this cute little Ocean Spray Pink Cranberry Juice. It says that it is new, and I know that I've never seen it in my store before. I recently put together a bar cart in our kitchen, and I thought this would be really cute to put out on the bar cart. I could not find any cute paper straws at my Dollar Tree. I know during football season, I bought them there all the time for our tailgate but my store was maybe out of them, but I will just pick some up at Walmart or Dollar General. But I found these super cute cocktail napkins at Dollar Tree, and they just have the different cocktails all over them. So I got these two things to add to my bar cart. I picked up these long straws for a DIY. Um, I do not intend to use them like for drinks. I usually drink from my silicone straw, but these are for a DIY and I like them because they are longer than most straws. So I'm using those for something soon. I've heard really, really good things about this glass cleaner. This was my first time being able to find it at my store. I think that my store is starting to get a lot more items. I've always found pretty good stuff at mine, but lately it's been very, very stocked. Like sometimes when I would go 
it would just seem very empty or like things weren't super organized. But I have noticed that they have hired several new workers, so I think maybe it was just a little understaffed at one point, but I'm finding lots of things that I've been looking for and I'm so excited about it. But this is foaming glass cleaner and it is streak free. And I've watched several ladies on YouTube who um, have shared like their favorite Dollar Tree cleaning products. And this is always one that makes the list. I'm super excited to try this like on my French doors in the kitchen and the bathroom mirrors, of course. So super excited to find this. So I actually went into Dollar Tree to get a can of pasta sauce because I already had the meatballs ready and was planning on making spaghetti tonight. And I realized I used my last pasta sauce last week. We love spaghetti, so that's kind of a staple meal around here, but I did get the pasta sauce, thank goodness. I hate when I go for one thing and then forget it, so I know I came home with a lot of extras, but at least I got what I went for. I got this super cute head wrap. I know like head scarves and headbands are really making a comeback and I am here for it. Y'all know that I love to wear hats. When I was in high school, the little headbands were super in style and I loved those. I just love any kind of head wrap or hat. So I thought this would be super cute for summer, like with my hair up in a bun, wear it to the beach, the pool, but I thought it'd be like super cute with just a graphic tee as well. They had several colors, but I really liked the kind of iridescent holographic look of this one. I got this little tumbling tower game. I got it to use for a DIY. I have an idea for all of these little wooden pieces. I just hope it works. I might have to go back and get another box. Hopefully they'll still have them. This was also my first time finding these at my store. So it's just these little wooden pieces and I think I have a really cute farmhouse DIY if it works out. I got a pack of paper towels. They do have brand name ones, but this one's just bigger and I've gotten these before. The quality's fine and these tend to last a while. So I just grabbed one of those. And I usually just pick up one of these little packs of the Scott toilet paper whenever I see it. It is not always available at my Dollar Tree, but when it is, I'll just buy one or two to add to the little closet in our hallway so that we never run out of toilet paper. I got several packs of these AAA batteries. I have gotten batteries at Dollar Tree before for one of Ethan's like Xbox controllers or something, but I've never really tried them out, so I don't know how long they last or anything like that. So I just got several packs at Dollar Tree and I will see how they work. And if they do not work for a long time, next time I'll know to buy them elsewhere. I got this little storage box. We do not have a linen closet in our bathroom in this house, but we do have a closet like in the hallway that I keep like extra towels and stuff in. And I don't have a whole lot of um, like cabinet space in the bathroom. So I'm going to put kind of like overflow stuff, like stuff that's under my sink that I don't use regularly in this and put it in the hall closet so that under my sink will be like more functional and less messy. I picked up this foam board for a DIY. It is really big. I might cut it down. This project might not even work. I'll have to see. But I have several DIYs that I know I mentioned in this video and I have several ideas. I have just been out of town a lot and now we're working on doing a little bit of light remodeling in our kitchen. So I haven't done DIYs in a while, 
but I have several in mind for the summertime, so stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching my latest Dollar Tree haul. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more, and please leave me a comment and let me know if you've tried any of these items or if you loved any of these items. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. If I could have the world, I could just one day watch this madness come up.